All right. So I'm Beck Lane, and this is Catalyst and Company. Catalyst and Company, where we're catalysts in each other's lives, as well as our own, and we work at being the artists we've always wanted to be, or we be the artists we've always wanted to be. We just do the work. We do the work, period. Uh, today is the end of 2022. It's New Year's Eve. Tomorrow starts 2023. And I thought we'd close out with um, a video about what I've been, well, not only what I've been doing lately, but how it's affecting me. And hopefully it, ins it inspires you to, uh, it inspires you to maybe do things a little bit differently. I've really focused the past three or four weeks on making shorts and reels. We talked about this in the last video, making shorts and reels for Instagram and then sharing them on Instagram as store as not only reels but stories and highlights, then taking them, transferring them, them over to Facebook, where I put them on as a post, and then I use them also as a short on Facebook, and then taking that information, those reels, and transferring them to to YouTube. And I've learned a lot, a lot of idiosyncrasies about working, doing shorts and reels on YouTube. And so I've spent the past few days uh, editing, editing things, uh, adding audio that is YouTube specific. There's been a lot of things I've been learning and a lot of things I've been doing. Certainly not getting any exercise while I do all of this, but, but getting a lot done online. And so I feel like I'm starting off, I'm going to be starting off 2023 with a really good foundation with something that will push me forward into doing a little bit better. And again, as we go into 2023, starting, I think it's January 16th, we're gonna be, all right, not really celebrating, but we're gonna be acknowledging the 10th anniversary of this particular channel. It started off as Studio 120, and then uh, a while ago, I changed it to Catalyst and Company because Studio 120 became just so dour and tired. And I honestly, I spent two or three years just not knowing what to do or what to say anymore because I wasn't reaching the goals I wanted to reach. So I renamed it and I tried to refocus and, and put my mind in another, uh, in another place, put things in a, uh, a slightly more positive uh, mode or the best mode I could come up with anyway. So we're going into 2023 with a good foundation and renewed, slightly renewed focus. Obviously, we're not dressing any better or bathing before any of the videos. That's not going to change. But unlike other years, I feel like I can take on the year uh, more firmly and with a better grasp. And I honestly, I quite honestly believe that things are going to change in 2023, and not just for me, but for the people, um, the people who are dedicated to their work. I just, I feel it in my bones, and I don't normally. I'm normally just kind of hoping and working towards making those dreams come true, and then there we are at the end. I just, I feel very strongly about this, and one thing that's um, giving me these beliefs which may sound odd, is uh, 2023 is actually the year of the rabbit. And I think 2012 was as well. Anyway, I remember the last time we celebrated the year of the rabbit, I went in very strongly. I went in strongly during the year of the dragon too, but I went in very strongly during the year of the rabbit because I was born in 1963, which is which was the year of the rabbit then. I have and I love rabbits. I absolutely adore rabbits. I love drawing them. I love painting them. I have tattoos of rabbits all over me. They're such a, they're, they're such a smart, self-protective self animal. In their dens, in their warrens, whatever you want to call them, in their little homes, in their bunny homes, they have two ways to get in and out. So if a predator comes at them one way, they can shoot out the other. They're never thinking that they're backed into a corner until they absolutely are. 
but they never thinking about being backed in a corner. It's how can they pivot? How can they run? How can they protect themselves and, and, and keep themselves alive and healthy? I just, I really love rabbits. Plus, they fight like a mofo. These guys will tear you to shreds. Rabbits will absolutely tear you to shreds once you get them cornered. So I want to go into 2023 like a rabbit. They're small, but they're mighty. And one thing I always appreciated, well, didn't really appreciate it, but sort of appreciated about my body was my legs were, oh, not, not, not so much now, but were always very strong. Okay, I'm diminishing myself, but my legs were always very, very strong, very muscly. And they were built like a rabbit's haunches, like just back legs. So I want to hold that in my heart that I have, and I want you to hold it in your heart too, that we have the ability to not just accept our fate. We're, we're not rabbits with one entryway and one exit. We don't have to accept the predator. We don't have to accept that that is our fate. That's it. If a wolf comes at us from one direction, we're, 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 we're wolf dinner, we're coyote dinner, we're whatever dinner. We're dinner to these, to these uh, forces that we believe have cornered us. We're like rabbits. So we've got two entrances, two exits. We do have that ability to pivot and, and to keep ourselves safe and to keep our artwork safe as well. So I want to go into 2023 with that feeling, if it's at all coherent, with that feeling that we aren't just fighting back, but we are continuing on in, in the strongest way we possibly can. Now, behind me is a painting uh, I thought I'd finished in, in 2022. I kind of thought I'd finished, but it's been sitting, sitting on my stack of paintings bugging me. I loved the colors. They were very um, subdued. But I pulled it out and I decided I was going to make it brighter and stronger and more appealing, not just to others, but to me as well. So I've been readdressing the jacket and giving it a lot of texture, readdressing the face, giving it more color and more depth. And then as you can see, I've been going into the horse and, and really giving it a new dimension because one of the things I like to do, especially with these hobby horse paintings, is make the hobby horse bend visually give it a real feeling of being alive and giving it more dimensions than just two. So I'm going back in, as crazy as that sounds, so I'm going back in and I'm reapplying color. It's taking me a while. The, the oil paint is fighting me a little bit, but we're gonna get there because we're going to, we're gonna be the rabbit. I'm gonna be the rabbit. And if it's not working here, we're going to pivot and take it in another direction, come back and readdress it later. We're just going to keep doing this. We're going to keep doing this together. The thing that we have been doing for 10 years, we're just going to continue producing work. Now I'm going to put, I'm going to try to remember to put a link to an Alice Neal interview I was watching this morning. Alice Neal is one of my heroes and she has been since I was a kid. I fell in love with her and have been captivated by her when I, uh, when I first saw her on Johnny Carson as, when I was a child. She, she was an artist, she was a painter, she was a woman painter, and fairly famous at that point, invited onto the Johnny Carson show to be interviewed. And I remember watching her and I was just so blown away by this woman. She walked on with a cane. She was in an evening gown, which cracks me up. She walked on with a cane, but you could tell the second she hit the stage that she was really a force of nature. And now watching interviews with her uh, now, you know, as an adult, uh, watching her interviews, she was a lot stronger than people would take at a surf at, on a surface level. She was a no BS woman, and she, she I guess she, she said something like, I have a soft, doughy face, but that's not who I am. And people who got to know her knew that's not who she was. She was all about painting, 
all about the work and producing the best work she possibly could. And she transformed portraiture and figure work, especially in the United States, in, in her lifetime. So I'm going to put the link down below. I'm going to put a link or several links down below and really look into Alice Neal. I'm looking at 2023 through the lens of being almost the age Alice Neal was when she first uh, received notoriety. I'm going to be 60 in April, which is inconceivable to me, absolutely inconceivable. But I'm taking on the rabbit and the Alice Neal attitude of, I'm, I'm not playing anymore. I'm not playing. We're going to get this done. She received her notoriety. She, she started showing at the Met and at MoMA and all these places at Tate. You know, now her work is known around the world and collected by museums around the world. And that's that's my goal. That's that's one of my one of my goals to be the second Alice Neal. So anyway, gonna share the link down below and let's go into 2023 on a high note and do the best work we possibly can and get to where we want to be. All right, I'm Beck Lane. This is Catalyst and Company. Catalyst and Company, oh, if you'd like to help support Catalyst and Company, all the links are down below, including links to, to Cash App, PayPal, where you can buy me a cup of coffee, uh, Patreon, where you can supply monthly support for as low as $5 a month and you get a little, you get a present at the end of it. Uh, T Public, where you can buy my work printed, some of my work printed on uh, coffee mugs, household items, tote bags, um, as well as other sites. So I'll put the, all the links are down below to that as well. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter, which I don't do much, but Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, I'll have the, um, the link tree also posted down below. All right. I wish you all a happy 2023. And now I'm going to go shower. All right, Carrie. Carrie, let's make 2023 a good year for you as well. And I hope you're healing, my friend. I hope your heart is has time to heal and the strength to heal. But anyway, mwah, mwah. all right, ciao. Meow, meow, boink.